Well, hello everyone. I finally managed a usable, I mean a gigable looper solution with the HX stomp. The problem is, there are more problems with the HX stomp's looper. One is that even I have this big one, I cannot dedicate the looper buttons to the foot switch 7 and foot switch 8. I don't know, but the, uh, the line 6 just didn't manage it for us. But these two buttons would be the, the best uh, to reach the looper. The other thing is that these buttons just mechanically don't do the job. I have uh, several other loopers, loopers pedals, also now this uh, MIDI uh, controller, all of them work much better than these buttons. These buttons just don't do the job for the looper because you just cannot find uh, the sweet point how to uh, tap on them. So now uh, there are two options actually you can use a foot switch for the looper a double foot switch that's one solution I saw it on the internet and I did it it works or the other one you can use a MIDI controller to set up a looper my demands are very basic so I, I don't want to overdub I just want to have a looper which is able to turn the looper on and turn the looper off with one step or one stomp the big issue of the HX Tom that if you want to turn off your loop, you have to do a double stop, which is which is a nonsense when you play the guitar and you want to uh, get out of your loop. And for example, you still have to strum and you have to continue strumming, and you have to double stop on the foot switch. You will fuck it up. So this double quick stomp. On, on the loop, to stop the loop is just not for live gigging. It's okay at home, but for live gigging, I don't know line 6 what you are doing there guys, but uh, this looper is really annoying. Okay, so how to set up? First, let's go to the global settings. Oh, sorry. Let's go to the global settings. How to set up uh, this stuff. So we have uh, to go to the MIDI and you can see that I set up here MIDI channel 7, MIDI through is off, uh, MIDI is whatever MIDI clock, we don't have to do anything with that, uh, preset tempo, so these things are not uh, important for us, snapshot CC on MIDI plus USB, you can see it's set on MIDI PC TX MIDI plus USB PC RX USB MIDI on so that's the all, uh, all setup you have to do in the global setup but you can choose any channel I chose uh, channel 7 and of course when you set up your uh, MIDI controller yeah this is the M-Wave chocolate you have to choose the uh, channel 7 so that's it get out of here and now to, to demonstrate this looper, uh, I just selected only one looper. You can see that the whole chain is empty, just there's a, a one switch looper on. So this one switch looper will do for me only to record and play the loop. So this button you record and then you stomp it again. It starts playing it and this one, it actually it's, uh, you can set it up as a st stop but I set it up as an undo. So actually it removes or delete your loop with a simple quick step. You don't have to step it long. You can set it up step long. So I cannot overdub with this, but one written on the guitar to solo it over is enough for me according to my experiences. You can use this M-Wave with the stereo or TRS wire. So you need the stereo phone jack here and it comes to the MIDI but you need that kind of wire you need that uh, MIDI wire so one is TRS 
and the other should be this thin traditional MIDI wire. Even this chocolate has a, a USB, but this USB is not capable to transmit the MIDI signal as I know. So this is to recharge the battery in this looper. Actually it's interesting you call it an English battery, but actually that's an accumulator or an accumulator that would be the yeah, you say recharge or a battery English, but I think it's an accumulator. Now, okay, so that you can use it wireless. You need this MIDI dongle. Oops, can you see this one? This one is also an M Wave product. So now let's turn it on. Yeah, you have to recharge this one as well. So it also has a USB C recharging stuff and it's flashing. I'm oh, sorry, you can't see. Let's try. It's flashing because it's uh, searching for Bluetooth signal. And they found each other already. First of all, we turn on the MV and we open the app. They have to find each other. It found the food control connecting, and uh, you have to choose the advanced constant mode, right? There are lots of other options, but you need the advanced constant mode. And uh, we just set up now food switch C and food switch D. We want food switch D, so this one we want to record and play the loop, and we want this one to stop the loop. Actually, it doesn't stop; it removes the loop. First, let's go to the food switch D, and uh, you have to come to this option. That's not so obvious, but you have to choose that mode. Single step switch between two banks. So I choose this one, and this is the second. Okay, mode single step switch between two banks. I choose this one, and we will have bank A, bank B. So first, we go to the bank A. I chose number 7, I chose MIDI channel 7, so we choose CC here, MIDI channel 7, and we write two data, the first is 60, 60 means switch looper record or overdub, so we choose number 60 and data 2 is number 127. We save it, we get out and we go to, and you can see we have this one in bank A. And we go to bank B, and the bank B, we choose again channel 7, you choose the CC mode, and data 1 will be 61. 61 means switch the looper to play and you choose the data 127 okay so that's for the D foot switch and now we go to the foot switch, foot switch C alright we get out we go to foot switch C we do again here we choose yeah so from here mode we choose single step switch between two banks and bank A we set up bank A again MIDI channel 7 CC and data 1 would be 61 Day 61 is again that stop the loop and uh, 63 would be the second data for us don't ask me why I'm not the best expert at MIDI. Then we go to bank B and in bank B we will choose again yeah, MIDI channel 7 CC and we will choose data 1 63 which will undo the loop and actually it works for me the undo and data 2 is 0. Save, get out and that's all. I will turn on the looper with this one and it's interesting, first I have to do it two times. So first, nothing happens, so now the looper will turn on. 
you can see that now you have a full square, the one switch looper title is bald. And now, one more switch, it goes to play mode and I can remove with one single short step. And how it works, I have my IAV guitar. Well, anyway, let's put it on the floor, let's try to uh, demonstrate. No, okay, so just a simple loop. One, two, three, four. The looper is on. And I go back for the, to the rhythm, take over the rhythm, and I can start, turn it off. Yeah, one one step.